I remember having pregnancy brain when I was, well, at least my husband tells me I did. Maybe I don't remember so well. But if hormones can affect your memory then in life, it stands to reason that later in life, your hormones could kind of set you up for some brain fog too. So Dr. Tracy Alloway, who's an author, a professor, and frankly, an expert in memory is here. I asked you specifically to talk about this subject. Yes. So is that really a thing? Can your hormones make you forget? Definitely. I mean, certainly 60% of women who are experiencing menopause report this brain fog where you forget someone's name or you're at the top of the stairs and you think, what was I here for? Or you forget things that you need to do. And we do know it's linked to estrogen production. And estrogen, um, we see a, a loss or lack of estrogen in our hippocampus. That's the part of our brain that's called our memory center. And we do know that there, there's huge amounts of uh, estrogen receptors there. The good news is that in a recent survey of over 2,000 women, those levels return to normal. Okay, so it can come back. So you should not stress about it. No, definitely I not. And in fact, one of the ways to overcome that brain fog with the memory loss during a time of menopause is to try to reduce stress. And we do know that um, cortisol, one of the, the stress hormone, is one of the big reasons why we experience memory loss at any age, whether you're a male or female. So at any age, if you're stressed out, you might find yourself having that moment where you're just like, okay, oh shoot, why can't I think of the person's name? <laughs> yeah, or... uh, yes, and not just that, even just remembering everyday things, not just names. And um, we do know that a little bit of stress, a little bit of cortisol is good, it challenges us, it helps us rise to the occasion. But too much of it and a long uh, production, a long frequency of that cortisol in our brain can overwhelm our memory. We know that our memory can decline as much as 25% as a result of uh, too much uh, production of cortisol. And we also see that this is affecting our synaptic connections, the, the connections, the communicators in our brain, and we see that we have 20% less synaptic connections when we're under stress. So it's sometimes it's, it's as simple as moving a thought from one place to another, like the words you're about to speak. Exactly. So what uh, you made a note about feeling good. Yes. Feeling good is yes. important. Yeah, that's another hormone that's linked into um, memory, but in this case, it's a good way to boost your memory. And it's dopamine. That's your feel-good hormone, and it, uh, it's when we experience pleasure or when we feel motivated. And researchers have found that when we have an influx of dopamine in our brain, we're more likely to remember something. So here's an example of how it works. You're at a party. You remember, you know, you introduce to someone, you've got that name, and our synaptic connections are firing, but then it dissipates over time. But once you add dopamine into the mix, so you're motivated, you think, oh, I really want to remember their name, we're going to put that in a long-term memory and remember that. Okay, so you kind of get yourself <laughs> hyped up. Yes. Like, How great is it going to be when I see you again? <laughs> yes. And I remember your name. Exactly. We're all going to be so excited about that. Exactly. And that kind of makes things. And then um, finally, there are some chemical things that go on in our brain that these have to be things that we're going to be able to one day harness to yes. maybe even take as a medication, I'm hoping. Yeah, and I, th I thought this was fascinating when I found this study. It's a, it's a hormone that our bone actually produces, and it's called osteocalcine. And we naturally produce this in our body, but this production declined in early adulthood. But they found recently that when they were able to synthetically uh, introduce that into the system, older adults showed that same memory levels as the younger individuals. So, you know, great news for something down the future. That is fantastic <laughs> mm -hmm. news. And the validation, <laughs> Dr. Alloway, that you just gave me, I'm going to use that again and again and again. So you can find Dr. Tracy Alloway's books wherever you buy books. I know on Amazon for yes. sure. And she has a lot of great books on memory. Now, here's something I remember. Yes. I remember that I went to Mainstream Boutique recently and I spoke <laughs> with a fashion guru. Take a look. Yeah. <laughs>